hello everybody I hope you guys are doing fine and in this video I'll be talking about something some functions called the stream functions and I'll be telling you what they'll do what why they are useful and where they are useful okay suppose if I have a character array here like this and now I would like to output them to enter something like um, what I'll be giving you something like um, <coughs> enter a string alright just scan it x mm, that's fine control c now enter Hmm. Enter another string and then I'll send it to Y and Y is also a character array. So now what I'll be doing here is I'll be printing both X and Y strings. Okay. look what will happen actually first it want to enter it want us to enter a string alright I gave a string alright so when I gave two different strings called Vamsi and Krishna it gave the input as Vamsi Krishna okay now what if I give the input differently like see if I gave the input as a string with different spaces it delivers the what the output so what I'm telling is that previously I have two different inputs by pressing enters but now it asked us to enter a different name, but it didn't what we didn't even enter it we only enter here as two strings directly so what I'm saying is uh, if the user asked uh, suppose uh, if the program is asking us to enter a string but we entered like some four or five what strings strings if this is separated by what the space then these are two strings so the first string here this one C will be read to X and the next string will automatically be read by the Y so it will automatically be scanned into Y and it's printing X in the first line and Y in the second line here I think you guys understood it right so now to overcome this problem because here we are not entering what uh, the second string separately what we are entering in the first string is automatically going into the second string so now to overcome this what we have to do is uh, for any extra inputs that we have might have given extra inputs are the inputs that aren't read in the scanning process so now what you have to do is uh, a flush of standard in well standard input is a stream for taking the input from the screen monitor so we are flushing those that is we're mm, taking them into like uh, some array or something now if you wanna enter a string alright see now it's not directly printing it's asking for us to enter another string now if I enter blah 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 it will print the entered strings so this extra string Krishna is not what automatically be scanned but uh, it will what be flushed like it will be taken into some junk and be stored there that's what a flush will do a flush is a function which can what manipulate the extra inputs that we give this Krishna is an extra input right because the user as user was asked to enter only a string but we entered two strings so the extra string will be flushed to some junk memory we can either use uh, <coughs> extra what inputs to be flushed using this f flush or you can also use a different processor like using gets function you can what scan the extra string and store it in some junk array okay just for what 
taking out the extra inputs you can even use that process to hope you guys understood what I'm saying and this is it for today's tutorial guys and I hope you guys enjoyed it okay and don't forget to subscribe